How's it going guys? This is Eric. It's been a minute since I've uploaded to the channel, but I decided to upload and start uploading again because, you know, now I feel like I'm in a comfortable situation where I can actually talk about what I've learned in the past couple of months and year or so. And uh, there's like actual insight that I could give you. Now, this video is titled, How to Get Rich. Um, now, some people, I'm assuming because you clicked on the video, you want to know that you, you want to know how to get rich. But, you know, there's some people that will tell me, uh, like in my personal life, oh, I don't want to be rich. I want to do what I love and love my life and live a happy life. Awesome. There's nothing wrong about doing what you love, living a happy life. I live a very happy, happy life and my goal is to get rich. So it's, it's the way you look at it. So let me give you an example. Some people say that uh, be, get, trying to be rich, trying to get rich is selfish and greedy. God wouldn't want you to desire all this money. It's greedy. Um, the, the thing I always, that always comes up to my head when I hear that is number one, you are the selfish one. Whoever thinks like that is actually more selfish than the one trying to get rich. Let me explain. Solomon in the Bible was the king of Israel. The king of Israel. King at the top. He was the richest man in Israel. And he went to heaven. So how did Solomon make it to heaven with all this wealth and greed? How did he do it? He was a follower of Christ. He gave back, he helped. So this whole idea, oh, the rich are, are greedy and selfish. Mm, I do not believe so. Also, what about all the wealthy people, all the wealthy people that donate thousands, not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to charity every year compared to the average person who doesn't have enough money to, to donate. So who's a real selfish one? Oh, I want to be happy and stay average. I'm okay with average. But I don't help anyone. I can't even help my family. I can't, I can't help poverty. You're the real selfish one for wanting to be happy and comfortable. All right, so how do you get rich? You need to learn the power to persuade. Right here, power to persuade. This is one book I recommend. This taught me about finding my calling. Um, I think a lot of people don't have uh, meaning in their life. They don't have a purpose in their life. That's why, hence they're like lost or broke or depressed, whatever it may be. People don't have purpose. And how do you find your purpose? I think for me, it's like from what I've learned, you find your purpose by throwing yourself out there into the world and seeing what you're good at and also finding something where you can actually pour your all into it and learn and like be passionate about it. Um, that for me, that was learning how to persuade. So that's how I found my purpose. And I think many, many people would agree that are, many people that learn that skill of persuasion would agree that it brings them a lot of purpose and meaning to to life um, so I would learn how to persuade I would learn sales any type of sales you can learn how to sell pest control you can learn how to sell solar you can learn how to sell houses you can learn how to sell cars you can learn how to sell services anything anything that people buy that's high ticket that's expensive you can learn how to sell and it's not as hard as people think. A lot of people think, oh, I'm introverted. I can't sell. That's not, that's not what I wanna do. I don't wanna learn sales. Sales isn't that complicated. Sales is about being confident in what you're selling and showing that confidence to your prospect. Showing that confidence to someone who might need it in their life. And I'm not talking about like a used car salesman, like all oh, sales, like people think of sales as like this used car salesman who just wants to rip people off 
and just wants to make a sale and make money off of people. That's not what sales is at all. That's that's old, by the way. That way of thinking of like that stigma around sales, that's old, like really old. <clears throat> sales is not that. It's not you being sleazy or trying to scam people. That's not what sales is at all. Even, I, I sold cars before and I had a lady that was that needed a car she needed a car it had been years her car was a old beat up Jetta and she was looking at a $20,000 car at the dealership brand new she had she was gonna pay it in cash everything not even trying to finance anything or at all so she was sitting on my desk and she asked me She's like, why do you want to do sales? Like, out of everything, why would you pick sales? Why would you want to be a salesman? And she kind of, like, she was trying to offend me or maybe uh, encourage me to, like, give up on sales and try something better, more ethical. But I, I honestly think that if you have good intentions and you're ethical in sales, you can make a shit ton of money and help, a sh like, so many people. You can help so many people you can help businesses people who want to reach their goal whatever it is maybe it's fitness goals whatever it is business fitness anything that's what sales is sales is here take these glasses and look at look at it through my lens this is how this could help you and most of the time people who are sold by ethical salesmen end up loving what they bought so it's all about having conviction in what you sell and selling ethically and trying to help someone it's all about helping that's why i think like trying to get rich rich people solve big problems that's why they're rich jeff bezos he solved a huge problem people wanted cheap products they wanted them at their doorstep and they wanted them fast. That's what he solved. He solved a huge problem, huge. I can order anything. I can order a water bottle and it'll be outside my door in two days. That's fucking crazy. So that's what rich people do. The average people don't do anything. Why in why on earth would you want to be average? Um, so sales is for anyone who wants to make money. You don't need to be extroverted you don't need to be that person who loves talking to people i used to be so so introverted i used to sit in class and not talk to a single kid in class i used to be so shy and not even shy i honestly didn't even know what to talk about i didn't know how to how to bring up conversation but that's what i love about sales you you have a reason to bring up conversation you have a reason to talk to people and in return, you make money and you help them in the process, which is most the most important part is actually providing value to someone and seeing that make, making them see how you're helping them. So let me give you an example. Let's say that you were riding your bike on the middle of the road. You know, those people that love going like on bike rides me. That's that's me. I love bikes, but you know, those like white old dudes that love, love riding their, not even old, like middle-aged white dudes that love like riding their bike on the road. Let's say one of them didn't have a helmet on and I have a helmet and I'm trying to sell one to this potential prospect. I know that this helmet could potentially save their life, but he has a sales guard. You know, when you go to the mall and someone's trying to sell you like, chains fake chains or they're trying to like clean your shoes you always have your sales guard you're like no nope, i'm good no nope, leave me alone i'm good and you just keep walking right that's everyone nobody wants to be sold to that's what's hard about sales i'm not saying it's hard i think that's the hardest part of sales but i'm not saying it's hard it's very easy it's very simple very simple concept to to understand so Let's say this, this man is riding his bike on the road. I see him, I have a helmet and I could sell to him 
and they could potentially save his life. If he got hit by a car or, you know, slid off the road or something happened to him, he could have potentially hit his head and it could cause major like health problems. It could potentially, you know, he could potentially lose his life. But here I come selling him a, a helmet. He's gonna have a sales guard. So my job is to persuade him and see my lens, see my lens so that he understands why I think he should buy my helmet. So he's like, okay, I understand what you mean now. He buys the helmet. Let's say it potentially saved his life. That is sales. Seeing it's persuading and helping people understand why your product or service can actually benefit them tremendously. They could pay this amount, but because this is the amount that it's actually worth, they're gonna buy in an instant, right? It's just like, it's just like I have two iPhones, I'm recording with one of them. This is my second iPhone. I've bought two iPhones and I use them regularly. Look at my girlfriend, she's, she's snapping me. But I use this for Snapchat, I use that phone for business. So it's like, I don't get distracted, you know, I put this phone away when I'm, when I'm busy. So I have two iPhones. Look, she's, she keeps snapping me. Two iPhones. And I have a MacBook, I have an Apple Watch, and I have an iPad. So much Apple products. But Apple knows how to sell. Androids, there are Androids out there that have 10 times more technology than iPhones do. There's foldable Androids, but I don't want an Android. Why? Because it's how they sell. It's how they market. It's how they persuade people. I, you will, we will pay a thousand dollars for an iPhone, even though you could buy a phone, an Android with more technology, cheaper price, more, way more features, like awesome camera and everything. But it just has, it has the shitty emojis. Like what, what can I say? Androids have the worst emojis. iPhone has the best emojis. That's why I will always pick an iPhone just because of how they sell how they sell themselves. So it's like, there's nothing unethical about selling. Selling is everything. Selling is how the rich get wealthy. No, I'm sorry, how, the, how people get rich and wealthy. Like, selling is everything. So why would you not learn how to sell? And, and not only that, like, maybe you don't wanna learn how to sell. Maybe you just want to learn how to persuade. That's fantastic as well. You need to learn how to persuade no matter what, no matter what. Let me tell you why. Because you could potentially save thousands of dollars in your lifetime by learning this one skill of persuasion. How, what do you mean, Eric? How, how could I save money by doing? When you go and buy a car, when you go and buy your next car, if you learned a little bit of sales and negotiating, you could potentially save thousands of dollars. You could negotiate your way into a better deal on a car. Think about that. Because you learned one skill, you could save thousands of dollars. Hundreds, if not hundreds, thousands. Think about that. And same goes with the house. You could save money just because you know how to persuade. So I think that's why Sales is the most essential skill that a young man or a woman should learn. So how do I learn sales? How do I learn sales? Well, you could learn tech sales on a course. Course Careers is one example. If you go to coursecareers.com, you could pay $500 and they teach you exactly how to sell and how to land a job in sales and they give you the whole rundown. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you wanna go check it out. So that's one. Um, you could learn from other guys or girls online. Luke Alexander 
is a great example of a salesman that teaches other people how to sell and helps them land roles and jobs. Or you could just go and find an entry level job that will hire anyone. All you got to do is show up and show them that you're ready to work and that you want to make money and they will hire you. So that's how you, you can also learn from books. I've learned so much from books. I've learned so, so much from books. So you could buy a book like this that has objections and, and it, it will literally teach you exactly what to say in each scenario. So like sales is all about like knowing what to say and how to say it with confidence to persuade someone to take action. So this, this teaches you what to say exactly for any type of sales. So that's one book. There's many other books like Zig Ziglar, The Secrets of Closing the Sale. This is a, Zig Ziglar is one of the greatest salesmen uh, that, that has taught people and, read, and uh, wrote books. So I recommend you learn from those two. This is Andy Elliott, Zig Ziglar, Andy Elliott. Another book that will teach you how to negotiate is called um, Never Split the Difference. That's another book you could learn. And look, there's so many other, there's so many more books. Like the amount of information out there is endless. Now, some of you might be like, oh, I don't like reading. I'm not, I, I can't even, like, I can't even open the first page of a book. I can't even open the first page of a book. Look, I completely understand. Find ways to either in, increase your focus so that, and concentration so that you can actually read a book, or you could listen to an audiobook and learn. And through repetition, you will know the, the skill of persuasion. Uh, another way is just trying it, like, you know, you don't lose anything by trying. You lose by not trying. So you lose time and you lose the opportunity by not trying. That's how, that's how I look at it. But yeah, those are the books that I recommend. So that there you go. Uh, and, and you might be thinking, well, Eric, how is sales going to make me rich? Trust me. Salespeople make a lot of money. They make at least six figures. I was at the dealership where I was working. The top salesman was making over 200 grand. That's how much a doctor makes. Think about that. He had zero education. He got an entry level sales position and was making $200,000, over $200,000 selling cars. So that's pretty impressive. And like, that's at a dealership. If he found a better offer, a better deal, a better uh, job, he could probably make up to $400,000 because he's really that good. And so that's what I, that's what I would recommend. Uh, courses that I've learned from, I've learned from two people that I think are amazing. Actually, I'll, I'll name a third one too. First person I've learned sales from is Charlie Morgan. He's a multi-millionaire, he's learned sales. His sales was his first job. Then I've also learned from Andy Elliott, multi-millionaire as well. Sales was his first job. And then I've also learned from Grant Cardone, multi-millionaire, real estate investor. Um, he has so much wealth, like he's a billionaire. He, he Sales was his first job, so it's like, you can get rich. Um, if you ever want to run a business, sales is the number one skill you should be learning to run a business one day. Because if you want to run a business, that means you're going to have employees. And how are you going to persuade your employees to try and actually do their job better than, than, than expected when you can't persuade? You know what I mean? How are you going to make more money in your company if you can't persuade your team and your your employees to do a better job, to show up every day in a, in a good attitude, you can't you can, you can't persuade them if you don't know how to how to sell how to sell yourself how to sell your company. You need to learn 
the skill of persuasion. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.